Hey everyone, it's Chad Shaw, the natural one here. And I'm really excited because I just received a brand new Olympic bar for my home gym. Now I did a lot of research online trying to figure out what type of bar I should get. Um, I wanted something that was budget friendly, but also something that was strong and durable that I knew could withstand a significant amount of weight. And my research led me to this bar right here. Uh, this bar is made by Rogue Fitness, and it's called an Echo Bar. Uh, I received the bar just three days after I placed the order, so I was impressed with that. That was just with standard shipping. Uh, the bar was well contained and protected during shipping. As you can see, the bar, it's a, a shiny zinc coating. It's a nice looking bar, but of course looks aren't everything. The big question is, how does it perform? Well, I'm going to do a demonstration with the bar in a little bit and, and find out how it performs right after I go over some of the other specs. Now, looking at the knurling, uh, it's a relatively smooth knurling. This is Rogue Standard uh, Olympic style knurling. It feels good in the hands. Um, you can do a lot of high rep work with this bar and it's not going to butcher your palms like some of those power lifting bars that have the really abrasive knurling. Um, the bar, it's uh, 28.5 millimeters in diameter and it has a tensile strength of 190,000 psi. So that means the bar is going to be very strong, very durable, but at the same time, when the bar is loaded with, with a fair amount of weight, it's going to have some whip to it. And for people who don't know what whip is, whip is when you see a weightlifter hoisting up a bar loaded with weights and the bar bends and straightens back out. That stored elastic energy being emitted from the bar helping propel the bar upward. So whip's a good thing. Um, taking a look at the sleeves here, they don't rotate fast, but they rotate smoothly and consistently. Uh, the sleeves are equipped uh, with durable bronze bushings. Um, so just overall, uh, looking at this bar, it, it appears to be a very good, solid bar, but Again, uh, we're going to test the waters with this bar and, and see exactly how it performs. I'm going to test it out, pulling some deadlifts. We'll start with 405 pounds, jump up to 495, and then we'll take a shot with 550 and see how it holds up to that. All right. Overall, I would say that test run went very well. Uh, the bar felt really good at 405. Uh, what traveled smoothly, it felt good in my hands. The same thing at 495 pounds, went up nice and smooth. 550 pounds, it went up more slowly, but it felt good in my hands. You know, the, the knurl, it was just perfect. It wasn't so abrasive like on a power lifting bar where it butchers my hands. But at the same time, it was just enough that I knew it wasn't going to slip out of my hands. It felt very solid and secure. Um, it had some, some whip to the bar, a moderate amount of whip, uh, which is what I suspected it would have. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> bottom line, uh, you're not going to find a, a better bar than this for $195. I mean, that's... Uh, I'd say for general lifting and CrossFit, uh, you know, general, you know, for general power lifting, I'd say it's a great bar. Um, if you're deadlifting or squatting over 800 pounds, then you might want to get a specialty power lifting bar. But other than that, um, 
I think this bar is perfect. So that's my final assessment on the Rogue Echo Bar. Thanks for watching.